In the heart of the city, hidden away beneath the bustling streets, lay an abandoned subway station. Its name had long been erased from official records, and its existence had faded from the collective memory. But the station remained, untouched by time, a dark labyrinth echoing with secrets. One rainy night, as the city lights shimmered through the mist, a group of urban explorers ventured into the forgotten depths. Sarah, Michael, Rachel, and Ethan, fueled by a mixture of curiosity and bravado, descended the rusted stairs into the shadowy expanse below. The air grew heavy and damp, the darkness punctuated only by the flickering beams of their flashlights. Graffiti-covered walls whispered tales of rebellion and lost souls, their vibrant colors contrasting with the desolate surroundings. As they ventured deeper, a distant sound reached their ears, an ethereal melody that seemed to emanate from the very walls themselves. Following the haunting tune, they stumbled upon a vast chamber, its walls adorned with faded mosaics depicting scenes of triumph and tragedy. In the center of the chamber stood a circular platform, like a stage surrounded by a semicircle of stone benches. They had entered what appeared to be an abandoned amphitheater, a forgotten relic of the city's past. The melody grew stronger, wrapping around them like a siren song. Sarah, entranced by the music, stepped onto the platform. As her foot touched the stone surface, the melody transformed into whispers, indiscernible voices that brushed against her consciousness like gossamer threads. Michael called out to her, his voice barely audible over the chorus of whispers. Sarah turned to respond, but her words were swallowed by the darkness as she stumbled and fell, disappearing from sight. Panic seized the group as they rushed to the edge of the platform, their flashlights revealing nothing but an empty abyss. Desperation and fear mingled in the air as they debated their next move. Rachel and Ethan exchanged uneasy glances, their trust in each other tested by the uncertainty that surrounded them. With trepidation, they stepped onto the platform, the whispers growing more insistent, more intrusive. The stone beneath their feet seemed to pulse with a life of its own, resonating with the energy of the past. The whispers evolved into fragments of conversations, the voices of long-forgotten commuters trapped within the very walls. Memories and secrets intertwined, forming a tapestry of lives left behind. As Rachel and Ethan struggled to decipher the enigmatic voices, the amphitheater transformed. The stone benches elongated and twisted, creating a spiraling path that led downward into the depths. The walls shimmered with shifting images, fleeting glimpses of people and places, like ghosts of a world that had once thrived. With a shared determination, Rachel and Ethan descended the spiral path, each step bringing them closer to the heart of the mystery. The whispers grew louder, more coherent, and as they reached the chamber's depths, they found Sarah standing among a circle of shadowy figures, their faces obscured by darkness. The figures spoke in unison, their voices merging into a dissonant chorus. They revealed truths that had been buried beneath layers of time, the station's history, the lives of its forgotten inhabitants, the price of their abandonment. The station had become a gateway between worlds, a nexus where the living and the departed converged. Sarah, now a vessel for the voices of the forgotten, conveyed their stories with a haunting clarity. The group was torn between fascination and terror, the weight of the past pressing upon them like a heavy shroud. The whispers revealed that they were not the first to be drawn into the station's embrace, nor would they be the last. With a sudden, jarring realization, Rachel and Ethan understood the gravity of their situation. They were entwined in a cycle of remembrance and sacrifice, bound by the echoes of the past. The shadowy figures extended their hands, their fingers stretching into tendrils of darkness, and Rachel and Ethan could feel their essence being drawn away. The chamber trembled as the figures absorbed their memories, their experiences, their very souls. And then, in an instant, the figures dispersed like smoke, leaving behind a chamber that felt empty and desolate. The whispers faded, replaced by an eerie silence that reverberated through the air. Rachel and Ethan were left alone, their minds burdened with the weight of the stories they had witnessed, the sacrifices they had borne witness to. The subway station remained, a timeless sentinel, a bridge between worlds. The rain continued to fall above, its rhythmic patter a reminder that life carried on even as the secrets of the whispering gallery remained hidden in the shadows, waiting for the next curious soul to stumble upon its mysteries.